Hey friends, it's Casey here from Teaching On Less, and I'm so excited to take you along on this journey of my favorite things. I don't know about you, but that makes me think about the sound of music. I won't say, but I sang last video, and you know, I don't wanna do that for you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just Teaching On Less, and I just did a little behind the scenes action of this video. So go check it out. All right, I have things listed from teaching things to hair things, makeup things, sunglasses, shoes, can't like this video may be really long. It's all right, not a big deal, not a big deal. We're just gonna roll with it. If it is available in, on Amazon, I will link it in my Amazon store down below. If it is not available on Amazon, then sorry. Well, that's what it is. Before we get started on my favorite things, I wanted to chat briefly about my least favorite thing that I found this past week. See, what had happened was my really good friend, Becky, is a hair person, nail person. She gave me a sample of the most bomb hair color ever, and it's made by Viral, and it's pastel light pink color wash. This is what it looks like. I had it in my Amazon store, but Amazon has sold out, which makes me so sad. So I still have a trial pack. Well, I traveled about an hour the other day and there's an Ulta in the town, in the South Georgia town that I went to. So I thought, okay, I need to go ahead and grab this because Amazon's out. I don't know when I'll be back here, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Well, guess what? They didn't have any. So the sweet little lady at Ulta suggested that I buy this. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Horrible. This one, you put on your hair and you can leave it in for like 10 minutes, you wash it out, and it was like this, it was so pretty, it was like this rose gold, it was like, you couldn't even, you could barely tell unless I was in the right light, and I loved it, it was awesome. And this says, leave in your hair for 10 minutes. Once I put this on my hand, I thought, oh, well, it kind of looks the same color as this, oh, this is gonna be good. So I rub it and I just take it in the bottom of my hair, and when I looked down, my hands were like stained pink, and I thought, oh no. This is not good. Let me wash it out. So I washed it out really quick. When I say my hair was fuchsia for days, days, it was awful. Let's look at the color. Look at this. So unless you're wanting some extreme, I'm talking about like extreme, which I have really light hair that takes color uh, really well, but heck no, heck no. And it dried my hair out. No. Now that we've talked about my least favorite thing, let's talk about my favorite things. So we talked about, this is Viral Celeb Luxury, I don't know, color wash, okay? So it's just temporary color, freaking love this. They have so many different colors and it's genuinely temporary. You put it in, three washes, it's gone, okay? Next, I'm gonna have to clear this stuff off. This is something that's near and dear to my heart. This is my water bottle I take with me everywhere. I am a firm believer in making sure that our environment is as clean as possible. I am a big believer in taking care of our envir environment. I love sea turtles and it also has a picture of, it's, it's from St. Simons, I bought it in St. Simons, but it has a picture of a sea turtle with all of the barrier islands that are in Georgia that are just, you know, my whole heart. So this is awesome. I fill it up twice a day and I have religiously stopped using water bottles after watching Stephen Curry do this super motivational thing about how in 2050, they predict that there'll be as many water bottles in the ocean as there are people on earth. I was like, no, no. I may not can change the world, but darn it, I'm gonna try one person at a time. I drink two of these a day. I encourage you get a water bottle and use it. Get a reusable water bottle. Start using reusable grocery bags. And one thing that I believe in, we don't buy paper towels at my house and we have it for about two years now. I bought on Amazon, this lady is hand selling. I didn't even know you could do this on Amazon. It's almost like Etsy. These reusable napkins and I bought eight of them about two years ago. We use them, we wash them, we reuse them. And that's just another way that I contribute to the environment. If you're interested in seeing me do a complete video on ways that I try to be more earth friendly, then let me know down below and I, I'll hook you up. I gotta quit talking so much or I'm never gonna get through all this. All right, uh, my holy grail shampoo, conditioner, and, invis and oil that come with it. So I tried the trial pack because it was like 40 bucks for a trial pack. And when that thing came in the mail, I was like, are you kidding me? What is this? It was this big. Both of them were like this big and then it had this container of oil in it. I went back and bought it. It's the best shampoo and conditioner I've ever used. It is all those things free, you know, like sulfate, par, I can't say that word, paraffin, paraben, paraffin, I don't know, one of those. And it, my hair has just gone through, it's, 
you know, it's I dye it blonde. So it sometimes it's really, really dry. It was really brittle and breaking at the ends, and this just changed it for me. And I actually found it through another YouTuber. It smells like, oh my, I don't even know how to explain it. Heaven? Yep, that's what I feel like Heaven smells like. Well, besides barbecue and funnel cakes. I feel like Heaven smells like barbecue. Like when you get there, like everybody's having a barbecue. Anyways, does anybody else think about what Heaven might smell like one day? All right, so this is by Bumble and Bumble, which makes me so happy to even say. Bumble and Bumble hairdresser, <clears throat> Bumble and Bumble hairdresser's invisible oil. So it has so many natural oils in this shampoo and conditioner. I would read them to you, but we ain't got time for that. And then afterwards, this is the invisible oil that I put all throughout my ends. And I've had this, like I said, I bought this with the trial pack and I've had this for months. I don't know if you can tell, but it's only like right there. So this is definitely something you can use for a very, very long time. The shampoo does not give you a good lather. And I was like, what is this? Like my hair is not even sudsy, but that's part of being sulfate free and all that kind of stuff. I don't use much. I read that you should only do your scalp. Like, so I, I literally put a little bit in and then when it's time for conditioner, a girl goes buck wild because I just love conditioner. All right, Bumble and Bumble, invisible oil. You got it, I'll put the links down below, okay? Next is my Holy Grail lotion. Mm, oh, OMG, Bath and Body ain't got nothing on this company. It's cheap and it smells glorious. I found it through again, my nail guru, Becky, love you, Becky. And cause she used to, after I got my nails done, she would put it all over my hands. Oh my gosh, what is that smell? And she's like, oh, it's this, it's sweet pineapple and honey melon. Ha, oh, it smells so good. It's, it's made by Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts. I bought this on Amazon. You can find it at Ulta. I will put it in my store, but I, it's got 100% pure natural hemp seed oil. I am so dry, so dry. Like my legs look ashy all the time. And this is, it just, it doesn't feel thick. I hate using Bath and Body Works lotion. Lotion up, I'm like this for 20 minutes. This is more, the consistency is not as thick. It's more like, it feels watery at first, but when you put it on, your skin just feels absolutely amazing. And it smells so good. I'm about to put some on right now. Summer. Speaking of pineapples, here's another one of my favorite things. Not for sale, one of a kind. My dearest grandmother, hey mama, if you're watching this, I love you so much. My mama is, oh, she's so precious to me. We lost my grandpa, I can't talk about that, I don't cry, about two years ago, and she took up a new hobby you know, dealing with loss and trying to find a purpose again. And she took up sewing. She's always been able to sew, but she started making quilts. She gave me my very own quilt for Christmas. You know I cried. And she started making, she started off making these mug rugs. I've chatted about this before, but this stays on my desk at all times. And it is a, it's like a coaster or a, that you can put your drinks on. And I set it by my desk, my water or my drink goes on it every single day. I just love it. I absolutely love it. She has tons, I have like, I have like 50 at my house that are different. They're not just pineapples, but I also keep motivational sayings underneath this. And when I need a little extra boost, I just push this up and see things to keep me motivated. All right, let's go on to, no, we're all out of order. My favorite lip balm ever. I used to buy it and carry around in my purse or anything. This container of Aquaphor. I was a Carmex addict for years and years and all of a sudden my lips started peeling and cracking and nothing would fix them. I tried everything. I bought 30, $40 lip containers trying to fix it. It was horrible. We had some Aquaphor laying around the house because my husband and I had gotten a tattoo and this is what they use on your body after you get a tattoo. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm desperate. I'll try anything. Let me just put this on my lips because it says it was a healing ointment. I put it on my lips. It was like for the first time in years, my lips felt moisturized. They didn't hurt. This is ride or die. I carried this around with me for a year. This whole entire container came with me and if it was not with me, I was having severe anxiety. And now I found da, 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 that you can find it in these little bitty containers. I found this at a local Walgreens and I am so freaking excited about it. I use it every morning about lunchtime and every afternoon. I don't have to reapply, reapply, reapply. My lips are healed. Praise God for whom my blessings flow. Okay, next is some amazing makeup spray. Once you finish your makeup, you take this bad boy. I've already sprayed it today, but why not? And 
You spray it on your face. I spray it like 12 times. That was just me showing you guys what it does. It is by Urban Decay. It is Urban Decay's Chill Setting Spray. They have two different ones. They have All Nighter and then they have this one. I prefer this one. I think it does more of like a dewy glow. All Nighter is like, boom, it ain't going nowhere. But this keeps my makeup on all day long. It melts my makeup to my face. I freaking love it. It's been a ride or die for me for many, many, many moons. Next are some glasses that I wear on Insta all the time and I get tons of questions about my glasses. My husband bought these for me when it was Mother's Day, I think last year. Am I blinding you with my lights? These are Costas and he spoiled me. They're Laurentas or Lorento, I don't know. They are expensive. However, these are made from glass and I don't squint at all. He put them on the other day and he was like, oh my gosh, these sunglasses are bomb. I was like, yeah babe, I know. I know, I've been wearing them for a year. So I love them. They are the tortoise color on the sides and then this is the green. I mean, these lights are not even bright right now. My Insta family means so much to me, so much to me. I have had so many wonderful people reach out and ask to send me gifts and it is just truly a blessing. People send me things all the time. that They tell me that I've inspired them. Rhonda Gibson reached out to me and said that she wanted to send me a cup. And so I was like, yeah, girl, you can send it to my P.O. box. If you're interested, I've got a P.O. box down below. She handmade this cup. I have not even used it because it sits on my desk and I just look at it because it's so pretty. And I'm reminded that, you know, Pete, there's just so many good people in this world that do things out of the goodness of their heart. But she took my logo colors, my love for the Mother Earth. She took real flowers, real leaves, and she wrote my name on it. I don't know if you can tell the beauty of this thing, but it's got glitter on it. It's so touchy. So this is one of my favorite things. I probably eventually will drink out of it, but I just can't yet, you know? I just can't. Another thing that I opened up and cried like a baby. I, I'm, I feel like there's a constant that I cry a lot, and I really don't. I cry about, I'm very serious and very passionate about children. I'm very serious and very passionate about good people. And that's not all I cry about, but if it has to do with children, it has to do with good people, then I'm gonna cry. Just get over it. All right, so this was sent to me by a girl named Heather on Instagram. She reached out again and she said, hey, I'm in Target and I found these really cute flamingos that go with your brand. Can I mail them to you? And I was like, yeah, girl, that is so sweet. Thank you. She's like, it's no big deal. They were just a dollar. They were at the dollar spot. I was like, you are the sweetest thing. Thank you. Well, in the mail, I not only received the flamingos, I received this and of course, cue the tears. This is by Heather Stover. She does have a shop. It's called Designs by H-E-R-A. I'll put the link down below. Look at this. This is my logo for those of you that don't know. And she hand did this. It, these are, this is pieces of string. This is just like a piece of wood. I don't know if you can tell. And she painted all this on here. But I mean, like there are so many good people in this world. Why did she do that? I have no idea. She's just a good person. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for those good people that send me things. And it just means the world to me. Next up on the list is something, if you have an older iPhone that goes dead about mm, 10 times a day, I cannot live without this. It is, I bought it on Amazon. It's Power Ad. You charge this bad boy up, okay? It takes like 12 hours to charge up but it lasts. It says it'll charge your phone up three individual times. I have been known to use this thing probably 30 times. Anytime I'm traveling, I'm flying, this is coming with me at all times because my phone goes dead so much, partially because I'm on it, but the other part is it's an iPhone 6, and those, remember, I, they came out and said they didn't make the batteries good enough. Get you one of these life-changing. If you follow me on Insta too, you see me wear these beautiful things. I get questions all the time about these. What is that fancy thing around your neck? Oh, it's just a really cheap Bluetooth wireless headphone thing. I wear these to answer phone calls, to listen to music, to listen to audiobooks because it's important to me that I can multitask. These just go in your ears. This just sits here. You can turn it up. You can switch songs. I am a firm believer in trying to get as many things done as possible. I love self-help books. I may do an entire video on self-help books because if I get started, that's gonna take another 20 minutes. I try constantly to build my brain. I meditate with these on. I have a meditation app called Simple Habit. I put these in five minutes a day. 
great, great thing. These are cheesy, they're made by LG, but they help me be more productive. Another thing that I love for when I wear my hair natural, this is not my natural hair. My hair is very, very wavy, not curly, frizzy, wavy, curly-ish in the back, but nothing. I have used so many different products, but in the summertime, I wanna be a natural girl, you know, about 50-50, because it's good for your hair, and this stuff is amazing. I was, somebody recommended this to me on Insta, Orby Sculpting Cream. It's amazing, it is expensive, but you know you get what you pay for. Okay, okay. This is not expensive, it comes from Walgreens. It's Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Mist. After I get out of the shower and I get my heat protectant on and a leave-in conditioner, I also spray this. I seem really high maintenance talking about this stuff. But this is by OGX. I think that's the name of the company. It is, they also have a shampoo and conditioner that goes with it, and it's wonderful. I've gone through probably five of these. Another, this is a sample one because my bestie is awesome. Royal Treatment White Truffle and Pearl Hairspray. Hairspray dries my hair out and a lot of hairspray has a lot of alcohol in it and my hair is, gets crunchy and I don't like it. She loves the way this stuff smells. I hate it, but you know what? Sometimes you deal with a stinky hairspray because it's so good. This is one of those that's like a working hold where it's not, it doesn't make your hair feel hard. Love it. I did put my key to my Subaru on here because I purchased a Subaru back in January of 2018. She means the world to me. I love her. It was like a lifelong goal. I've always wanted to own a Subaru. Here is my camera that I take pictures with for all of my TPT products and my blog. I am a photograph enthusiast. If you'd like to check out some of my photographs, you can see them on CaseyMorris.com or on my Pinterest. I love, this was an investment, a big investment. I was suggested this by the Husky Loving teacher who takes amazing photographs and this changed the game for me. This is, you know, probably one of the most important business purchases that I've made besides my iMac. I love it. It's made by Fujifilm, which is crazy because back in the day, Fujifilm was crap. It was th those disposable cameras that nobody wanted. You were like, oh, no, I need a Kodak. But not anymore. Fujifilm has got it going on and this is a great, it's a mirrorless camera. Let, let me not get into the nerd talk of me and DSLRs and all that, but this is a mirrorless camera. I love it. If you're interested in some tips and tricks on photography, I do have an eight week photography course I will link down below as well. I've had this palette for OMG, probably going on 10 years maybe. And it honestly barely looks like I've even used it. I use this for when I'm fancy contouring, sometimes I do under eye with this light yellowish banana color, but mostly I use this middle color and I use it for my eyeshadow. It's the only eyeshadow that I use, and this is not even eyeshadow, but I love it. Butter Bronzer is a, an amazing bronzer. It's a drugstore bronzer, and it the smell, it's like takes you to a tiki bar on the water. It's amazing. So partially the smell, but it's a great bronzer and it's cheap drugstore alternative to those super fancy ones. Does anybody know what this is? I feel like the makeup world does, but if you're not a makeup person like me, you're gonna be like, girl, you are so high maintenance, but you know what? Just sit back, enjoy the ride. Okay, this is eyebrow gel. Yes, I gel my eyebrows now and it's pretty darn amazing. We were talking about eye, eyebrow gel and my camera died. No, it didn't die, it just overheated. Yeah, what you do is it's like, it's just clear, can, see now, oh there it goes. It's just clear, you just put it on your eyebrows. I don't even, listen, I can't even explain it. All I know is my eyebrows stay in place and I have a sparse eyebrow that I have to fill in over here because I have, just get you some eyebrow gel, it's worth it. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, boom is under eye, you've heard me talk about Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. If you haven't, I don't know what, if you're living under a rock, whatever. But this is what I set it with. This is by Laura Mercier and it is just a translucent power powder and I've used this, this little container for probably five years. Here is an Aurora palette. This is the Glow Kit by Anastasia that I also use and I use that to highlight. I use my net on my nose, Cupid's bow. If you want an updated makeup video, I can do that for you. Another one of my favorite things I just received is by Tiva, which is a sandal company that I love and have been obsessed with. Suggestion from the Bucket List family. If you don't follow them on Instagram, do it. They are so much fun. They're a family that sold everything that they own to travel around the world. Life goals, goal, hashtag goals. But she suggested these, they are very 
simple, minimalists, and these are, look how freaking cute they are. And they were super cheap for, for Tevas. Tevas become our, our super expensive. Last but not least is my backpack that I carry everything in. I may do what's in my teacher bag again. And this is by Beer Bradley. This is their tech bag. I bought it for travel purposes, mostly because it has this little, this part right here that you can put on your luggage, but it has a place for your laptop. It has a place for headphones. It is so user friendly. There are like, it has a place for my planner. It's amazing. It's also in my Amazon store. So this wraps up my video on my favorite things. I hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me and my personal side. I would love to do a favorite things video all on teacher stuff. If you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, let me know. I will be posting videos twice a week, every Saturday at 8 a.m. and every Sunday at 8 a.m. I would love to have you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Again, I'm Casey from CaseyMorris.com. I am an educator who is now retired and living the life I love as an entrepreneur. Thank you so much for watching and I will chat with you soon. Bye.